Watch out, puppy dog. We don't want to combine you up. Yesterday he followed me back and forth all day long. I don't know if he found a couple mice or chased a rabbit or anything. In the cornfield, yeah, he'll, he'll always chase rabbits. A guy should have a gun rack or something in here so that you could plink a couple of them off. I know some guys carry them, carry with them, but I just don't want it laying around, bouncing around on the floor. I'd like to have something to mount it. Once in a while, you'll uh, chase up a coyote. When you're picking corn. Yeah, I see pheasants and coyotes. Not very often do I chase up a deer. Very rarely do I chase up a deer. Mice, you see a lot of mice. And when you're doing corn, you see a lot of rabbits. So, there was a yield advantage to putting on the fungicide. Okay? If anybody wants to guess, I mean, we can make a game out of it if you want. I don't exactly know for sure, but they're, uh, I, I'll know when I get my last load into town, I'll know. But there was a, there was a definite advantage to uh, putting on that fungicide. You guys just go ahead and guess if you want. I'll put you in some other day as to how much or how little. If it was worth it, if I got if I got stuff paid for, if it was a wash, you know. One thing about this combine is I am not very good at judging how close to get. I'm kind of terrible at it. My 4400 was so easy because you got as close as you possibly could. <laughs> that short little auger. So yeah, you can tell me if I, you can guess, see if I got it paid for or not, my stuff paid for. The stuff cost, uh, let's see, it cost me about $16 an acre to put fungicide and insecticide on. That's what it cost me in chemical. I didn't, I didn't include my time or fuel. So fuel doesn't it doesn't take much. My little sprayer doesn't burn a lot of fuel. So we'll just we'll just figure uh, sixteen dollars for the chemicals. combining a lot better than they were yesterday. I think yesterday I had the thing spinning, the cylinder spinning too fast. And I was really just making a lot of dust. These are coming out a little cleaner. I think I was grinding the stems up so much making powder.
same. Nineteen seventy two, forty three twenty. In case anybody's, anybody cares. So, yeah, this is all I got left. I got a little corner over there against that fence, and this little corner over here. Then I'm done with beans. Oh, well, okay, I take that back. I'll show you over here. Can you guys see that green truck over there on that farm? See that green truck? Right there. There's the white barn. You see the big white barn, and then you see a pile of hay, and then you see the green truck in the. There's a little field there I gotta do on the other side of that road there. So. But I tell you what, when I started this field. Uh, these stems were green you know this had fungicide on also and the stems are group were green they didn't die and then it was hard combining but the pods were dry the beans were dry but we got a frost and some snow and that really took care of the green stems So yeah, this field got fungicide, but I don't have uh, I don't have anything to compare this field to. Uh, on one variety, one variety I had. The only difference was uh, fungicide. The other field that I had this variety in also got fungicide. So I really can't compare anything to this. The only thing I compare compare to is. I had one variety in two different fields, and uh, one field got fungicide, and one didn't. The planting date was a day different. I planted one, so it's probably, I planted one one evening, and the next one the next morning, so like maybe 12 hours difference in planting date, but I ain't gonna consider that a difference. We're gonna call that all the same. So. Go ahead and guess, if you want. I'm not saying, uh, well, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, hey, there was a difference. But just guess, see if you can guess how many bushels difference. Could be one bushel, could be a half a bushel, could be 15 bushel, you know. 20 bushel, just throw out a number, 10 bushel, 5, a half a bushel, and uh, by the time you get all your guessing done, I'll have a number for you. So. Later. Drink a bunch of beer, right? I'm ready whenever you are. 